Welcome to the Garage 419 Invitational. Early morning, Sunday, October 26th, we were at Grand Prix New York, Mount Kisco, for the Garage 419 Invitational. Now, we've got two episodes to show you. The first one is going to be the how we do this episode. The second one is going to be the live racing action with all of our teammates and all our pros and amateurs who have signed up over the past couple of years. Uh, now, basically what we want to do here is introduce you to some drivers, show you some of my strategies for messing with them during the race because i got to have my fun too and I'm not racing and uh, just kind of show you what this whole thing is all about. So uh, keep watching, I'm Matt Farah. This episode of Garage 419 is brought to you by Valvoline's automotive series Under the Hood with Brandon and the Frog. Watch for new episodes at brandonandthefrog.com. We've got track walk right now with extended team Polizzi, Bill Montana, Alex Roy, Davey Johnson, of course, Vinny Russo with us. What, Bill, what's your strategy for this, for this race? Drive it like you stole it, baby. Well, well you, since you paid the most to be here, you obviously didn't steal it. <laughs> We're going to drive fast, take chances, and get our name in the paper. Alex, how do you respond to the fact that people say you're not a very good driver? Observance. But as in medieval warfare and lovemaking, consistency and endurance will win the day. Davey Johnson, what, what's your strategy for victory here? My strategy for victory is to send out Herr Russo in the first position in car number eight, and then, in the end, in the last quarter of the race, I shall come, I shall take the wheel, and I will clinch victory in my iron fist. You're kind of scary, you know that? Yeah. So we have the dream team here, so I'm told Ray and Derek. First of all, Ray, you guys just walked the track. How does it look? Looks a little bit wet, actually. I heard they did that on purpose to uh, make you guys crash. Well, you know, as, as we've just found out, uh, for uh, um, Garage 419, it is all about ratings. And, uh, you know, they want to see carnage and they want to see destruction and dismemberment and flames. And Forget charity, let's go for the carnage. And it's all about fun, right, Derek? Because we know you know nothing about racing cars. Uh, oh, all right. Uh, this is, this is, you told me that, like, you, this, you knew how to do all of this. We're good. The word is heavy, but you can't drive. I mean, I can't drive. You I mean, mean, I know you, you can't drive. I, I've driven against you before. I murdered you. Have you ever We're good, Ray. Yeah, don't worry. We'll be fine. Have you ever driven a car, he asks. <laughs> I drive Are you cars, old enough to I've, drive? Wait. I've driven here, and I'm the only one with a motocross helmet, so that's cool. That's just a cool factor. And uh, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised today. I think they're just, they want me to lose, like Gene, the cameraman. But uh, I'm going to bring it, Carrie. Yeah. I'm bringing it for you and FLD and uh, Alex. Me, you and Alex. Oh, hell and yeah. And Ray, of Thanks. course. Don't forget Ray. Yeah, Come on over here, Ray. Ray. Um, we need to have some words. Make sure you have the right oil, the right tools. Now, I like to use a high mileage oil on this baby here because uh, my girl, this 1970 Camaro Z28, has been around the block a few times. And I don't mean that with any disrespect. All right, guys, listen up. Change your own oil does not make you a total badass. On the other hand, not change your own oil can turn your engine into a virtual atomic bomb at 7,000 RPM, sending a piston through your hood, out your garage roof, across the street, in your neighbor's window, ruining their spaghetti and meatballs dinner. Now, what kind of neighbor would you be then, huh? So do yourself a favor, do me a favor, most importantly, do your car a favor. Go watch Under the Hood with Brandon the Frog at brandonthefrog.com and learn how to change your own oil properly. That way we can avoid these type of, uh, you know, incidents. Debbie Chen, our only female applicant and our only female driver. And your six word essay was, I am a hot Asian girl. So audience, evaluate for yourself. <laughs> hey, she put it out there. Tell me, how, how are you preparing for this race? Um, well, I came here several times, um, three times beforehand to really? practice, oh, get okay. uh, hang of the track. All right, so, so you're familiar with the track. Yeah, pretty have much you, have, so. But you know we're running the super track. Yes. It, it makes things a little bit different. You're combining two tracks together. Yeah, it makes it a lot more fun, though. Yes. But where are you from? Um, New York. Oh, okay, so it's not such a nice easy trip out here right. then. Right, yeah. And your partner is, is Mr. Angry himself, Mike Musto. Yes. Did you meet him? Um, yes, I did, actually. Do you know why I put you with him? 
Um, why? Because he has a hot Asian wife who's going to be really jealous. <laughs> Here we are with Alan Hall. Guess what company he works for? Just kidding. Yeah, you had to get a plug in, you know? Yeah, I had a PR for Ford. How you doing, man? I'm all right. I'm glad you came all the way from Detroit for this. I'm this excited. Awesome. This are you ready great. to run? Yeah, it's going to be great. Who's your partner? Mike Austin from Car and Driver. Oh, so journalist. I we know, her, I we know how they drive. No. I brought a ringer. All right, no, that's good. So are you? Are, have you done a track walk yet? Are you, have you seen the, what I'm the track is like? heading out right now. All right. Do you have a, do you have a strategy, you think, for, for winning this? Going really fast and turn. Sounds like a little Ricky Bobby strategy. Yeah. I like it. Similar. Good luck, homie. Thanks, man. Thanks for all the press cards. You got it. <laughs> all right, here we have. We have John and George from the Children's Tumor Foundation, as well as our buddy Roger Garbo, who set us up with them for this race. Hey, uh, George, what do you, what do you, how do you see this event going? Oh, we're, we're totally psyched about it. Uh, Children's Tumor Foundation, uh, John and I, and all our, everyone living with neurofibromatosis or NF, and, and we have a program called Racing for Research, so it really ties in great. So as people are driving, Hopefully online people are making pledges and really supporting our efforts. Uh, and I think it really just blends uh, great with uh, public awareness and, and fundraising. Garbo, your racing yeah. is a pro today. Yeah. Now how do you, how do you feel that. about that? <laughs> I think all that makes you pro right now is that you have a, a weight advantage, really. I, I think you're right. And uh, hopefully I've learned something through osmosis from our pro drivers on our race team. So. Well, you're around them a lot, so that helps. I am. I actually shared a room with Wolf Hensler for one season, so I'm hoping that, you know, that gives me a little good They allow that now? Now we are on the super track at Grand Prix New York, and here's how it's going to go. We wet the track down. It's going to be a little bit slick. I got them qualifying right behind me right now. First turn, you come in, it's a left-hander, into the hairpin. Here's where it gets tricky. A lot of crashes happen down here. After the hairpin, you get what's called a carousel. It's a surface change, a slick concrete. So I'm going to have to spray water down from up there to keep it wet. It dries faster into the downhill S's. The only place in the track where it's actually fast to drift. Everywhere else, you want to keep that lap, the, the wheels on the ground and not sliding, okay? After this, full throttle for a half the track, okay? Into the longest back straight in indoor karting that I know of. Coming around this turn to the entry speed corner, high entry speed here, and we're going up. Here's the straightaway. Now normally I'd be flying, but right now I'm trying to talk to you guys without a helmet. So at the top of this hill, you can actually get air. So you want to be turning before the top of the apex. Coming down, a lot of speed you get on the downhill there. Back into the wet. Now we come into the uphill S's. You turn it tight. Now bear in mind, we're on the downtown side of the track. We're actually running it backwards right now. Track one, you run forwards. Track two, you run backwards when you're running the half mile super track configuration. Coming down the tunnel. Oh, I'm getting wet. There we go. Getting a little wet. No problem. Now we're on the back straightaway. Back straightaway is a little shorter than the front straightaway. Then we have the flat S's. Big chicane in here. You want to take it wide, pull it narrow, bring it right back around. And now we pull off and we let qualifying begin. On the next Garage 419. New episodes of Garage 419, Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah!